This video is going to review some of the features of the new IRB Mon 2 photo eye from EMX Industries. Some of the changes we've made to the new IRB Mon 2 is we've integrated the hood directly into the plastic housing of the photo eye. So now our metal hoods are an accessory that you could add to slide over the top of this, but it's completely optional because the hood is already molded into the plastic, which should make life a little bit easier for our installers. Most of the features of the IRB Mon 2 are the same as the original IRB Mon. We just made a couple of uh, things simpler for the installer. One is we've molded in a hole in the bottom of the housing, which will accept a half inch NPT connect, uh, connection from conduit. The second thing is we've gone to a detachable terminal blocks to make wiring a little bit easier. From a power standpoint, our transmitter remains the same, anything from 12 to 24 volts DC or AC. Just hook up the power and the unit will work fine from the transmitter side. Same thing on the receiver side, 12 to 24 volts DC or AC on the two power terminals, which are the two right terminals. The unit also comes with an optional sun shield that can be placed over top of the optic for direct sunlight conditions. The IRB Mon 2 also has uh, a potentiometer for adjusting the sensitivity of the receiver, a four position dip switch, and of course our five position terminal block. So to review some of the UL325 monitoring methods that are on board the IRB Mon 2, they're the same as the IRB Mon. We have standard normally closed monitoring, which is dip positions one and two in the off position, dip switch three in the on position and four in the off position. Um, you would just have wires hooked up to power as well as the normally closed and common terminal block, and then you would be uh, in standard normally closed monitoring. For 10K uh, resistive monitoring, one and two would be in the off position, switch three and four would both be in the on position, and then your wires, again, would be hooked up to power, and you'd have a wire hooked up to common and a wire hooked up to the normally open contact on the terminal block, and now we would be monitoring a 10,000 ohm resistor that is sitting uh, between the normally open and common contact when the unit is energized. For two-wire pulse monitoring, dip switch one is in the on position, two is in the off position, and three and four you can leave in the off position. So simply for two-wire pulse monitoring methods, for two frequency, both zero and 300 hertz frequencies, switch one is in the on, two, three, and four are off, and then you would just have a wire hooked up to the two power leads. And we would uh, communicate with the operator board over those power leads um, by changing the frequency on that line to determine whether there's an obstruction in front of the eye or not. For our two wire pulse frequency, the three frequency mode, which would use 300 hertz, two hertz, and zero hertz, all we would do is turn on dip switch two instead of dip switch one. So one would be off, two on, three and four are both off. And again, a wire hooked up to each of the two power leads. And then we would be monitoring for three frequencies over two wire pulse. Um, and those wires would go directly over to the operator. So that's the IRB Mon 2 photo eye.